Okay, here we are again, 1506. What have we not talked about? Come on, man, this is the third video. What else can you talk about on this driver? Oh, a whole lot. A whole, 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 whole lot. Check this out. Check this out. Let's get down here to this very large stop plate, which enables us to focus the gap created by the North Pole and the two magnets, the dual slug magnets here. This focuses the energy. This is a, what six and a half you know has a top plate that large? I believe this top plate is three eighths of an inch thick. A ceramic magnetic top plate. But what I like about this motor, and you said, what the venting? Everybody got venting and cooling. Yeah, but I want you to look inside. If, I don't know if it's gonna show it. Particularly right, uh, let me see. Let me get y'all to see that. The cooling. No other manufacturer, no other six and a half on the market today has this. And this is used not just on the 1506, the entry into the ESP line, but also on the 2508, 35, 95, 900 series. I want you to look right here. Right here. Look right here. I'm going to try to put a light on it so you can see. Do you see that? Oh, I got one of that. Do y'all see that little hole? Uh, can you get closer? There you go. There it is. You see it? Right here. You see C1 right there. Well, let me tell you what that is. I don't know if you can see it or not. I can see it real, real well. Inside the pole, on the bottom plate, on the T-O, he has one, two, three, four holes. So that as the coil moves back, it's forcing hole, forcing air that hits this T yoke and escapes here. That's four. He has six out here. That's ten. Nice bidding. Yeah. But on the 1506, overkill. It doesn't that it doesn't just have four here. If I move my finger up a little bit more, I run into another set of one, two, three, and four holes. So inside this pole piece, one, two, is eight holes that are cut inside the pole piece that as air is moved inside and they're, and they're rounded over too as well. I don't know if I, they're rounded over as well. So as air moves in, there's eight holes here and six holes here up the pole piece. That's 14 holes for cooling plus this open frame design. So now we can play louder, longer, and stay cooler. That's why I picked the 1506. Now, because it's a six, just a six and a half inch driver, the box is gonna be small, as I do in the rest of the knowledge series. But this woofer, wherever you could put one eight, wherever you could put two, one twenty-five or eight, you could put two of these, and you have increased the cone area, the amount of air that you're moving per stroke, with with in twice the motor force. Twice the motor force. This this is to me the best subwoofer, arguably, on the planet. On the planet. On the planet. Man, you reaching out there then. Okay, cool. I'll reach out there then. But this is the best six and a half. And I broke it down in three videos. And I still think I'm missing something. I still think I still think I'm leaving something out. I still oh yeah 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 the channels. I don't know if you can see that. if y'all can see that. Okay, on the top the top. Okay, you can see one right there. If you look right there on the voice cord, you should be able to see the circular. Then there's a little something right there, come like a U. Those are channels. There are one one here, one there. Well, there, there are four channels that are chafered to allow even more air to get inside to cool the voice core. Enough surface air, more surface air than any six and a half wolf on the market today in this top plate and this bottom plate in this magnet structure to dissipate heat very, very well. Y'all know how I feel about magnetic boots. It looks good, but we can take it on off and make sure we can get all that heat escape. Off. There's no reason why this woofer will play, not play louder, longer, and deeper. Louder, longer, and deeper than any other six and a half on the market today. If you need them, get at me. 404 
As always, please listen responsibly. Ah, boy, you can let them see what you can do, boy. Yes, sir. Oh, and last but not least, this Wolfie here is made in the good old U.S. of A. You see that boy right there? The birthplace of Josh Langford, the owner, and your boy, M.B. Tis of D. I love my country. And that's another reason why it is the best six and a half inch woofer out there on the market today. Peace.